joining us today for our presentation for Terry Fox. This is a 2022 one. It's been going on for a long time, so that's good. Keep it going. Today we're going to be talking about who Terry was as an individual, uh, his purpose for the run, and the impact he on, had on generations. How would your life change if you lost your right leg? Because I know it would have a very big impact on my life, and I'm sure it would have a lot of impact on your life. The purpose of the Terry Fox Run is to maintain the visions and principles that Terry Fox had. And that is to inspire and show others anything is possible if you put your mind to it. By donating and raising money for cancer research to develop new technology. And showing that we care and that Terry won't be forgotten and his legacy will live on forever. And Terry once said, I wish people would realize that anything is possible if you try. Dreams are made possible if you try. This might be a quote because although Terry was hurting physically, he still did all he could to motivate others to achieve the dreams. And he said it took cancer to realize that being self-centered is not the way to live. The answer is to try and help others. Uh, Terry set out on a mission to raise awareness for cancer. He never sat down, he never complained, he was, wasn't really focused on himself. And because of that, millions of people around the world benefited from him. There is no cure yet. However, there is so much hope, and that hope comes from all the people that have participated in the Terry Fox Run. If you were to get the cancer that Terry got when he was 18, you would have about a 30% chance of surviving it. That was Terry's chance. Now, if you were to get the same bone cancer, you have an over an 80% chance of surviving it. That's over 42. That's how far we've come. And it's not because of governments giving money to the researchers and so forth. It's because of everyday Canadians that are giving that dollar, that $5, that $10, whatever it is. It's all of us. We're all marathon hope now for Terry. If he can't do it, we got to finish it. And I'm running for my Nana. Uh, she has skin cancer, so I decided I was going to run for her. Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm running for my grandma. Hi, I'm Mr. Bosco, and I'm running for my wife, Marnie. I'm running for Michelle Wood. It's my friend's mom. Uh, the reason why I'm running for him is because uh, I'm really close with uh, her, and uh, yeah. Hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm running for my mom and Melanie. Today I'm running for my grandma, but luckily she um, got over cancer and she's good now, but still it's a scary thing. I am uh, running for my Aunt Terry, and she passed away two years ago from breast, lung, and a heart cancer. But I run because she found out four days before that she had cancer, and then it was four days later that she died. So that shouldn't happen. So this is for cancer research. Yeah, Gabby! <laughs> my grandpa, he died of uh, lung cancer because uh, they didn't have like the research, like not necessarily all the research to find out and get rid of it quick enough. So that's why we're here at the Terry Fox Run to keep running and keep pushing it so that we keep making money and hopefully this stuff doesn't happen anymore. I am running for my Aunt Terry today. She passed away from cancer about a year and a half ago. And yeah, you go girl. I'm running for Ali, who's my friend's sister, who passed away from leukemia a few years ago. Uh, I'm running to, uh, to try to get a cure for other people like her, uh, so that children don't have to die from cancer. Because um, cancer has affected all of us, personally. A lot of people in my family have been affected by cancer. It's just a good cause. Yeah, yeah we're supporting we're everyone. Yep, let's go. Uh, today I'm running for cancer and supporting my grandpa because I got to watch, or had to watch how cancer affected him and my family. So. Being able to come together and raise money for him like that is just really special. I'm also running for my grandfather because he suffered for many years and he didn't even tell any of us. And I just don't want anyone to feel like they have to hold that secret or be embarrassed by it. And the sooner we end it, the better. Congratulations, PF, on raising $500 for the next milestone of 1,000. I nominate Johnny Dagnilla to get the next ice bucket. Congratulations, Pia, for reaching $1,000 for the Terry Fox Foundation. I nominate Jordan Baker for the next milestone for $1,500. Congrats, Pia, for raising over $1,500 for the next 500 raise. Sydney Sharp is nominated to get the next ice bucket. Congratulations, Pia, on reaching $2,000 for the next $500 raise. Sophie LaHaye is getting the ice bucket. Let's go, Pia! <laughs>
<laughs> Congratulations, oh. PF, on raising $2,500 for Terry. Um, if we get to $3,000, I'm nominating Mr. Bosco for the next ice bucket. So let's yeah. go. Patrick Forty Leadership Class, we want to say thank you so much for your contributions to the Terry Fox Run. It was a huge success. We raised over $3,000, it was $3,020 from the school, and we are so pleased with your efforts and your generosity, and what a great run it was. Thank you so much, guys. It was such a great day, and we appreciate your efforts. Way to go, Pia. <laughs> <sighs> cancer had spread and now I've got cancer in my lungs and uh, we got to go home and, tr and try and do some more treatment but uh, all I can say is uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it I will.